Happy New Year, cake lovers. This is the time of year when most of us want to get healthy, so this is the perfect time to taste test low-calorie cakes. First up is Skinny Dream Rocky Road. You get five bars for £1.50, and I got these from B&M. Okay, let's try the Rocky Road. This is actually really good, but my thing is, right, the size of it, it's so small. I would want a big piece of it. And that little thing cost, it was 75 calories. Now, suppose if you only want a little um, chocolate here, fine, but yeah. As much as I don't eat loads and loads of cake, that would not satisfy me. Next up, is Mr. Kipling Angel Slices. Now these are 30% less sugar than the original. You get six slices for two pounds and I got these from Tesco. Okay, so onto the Mr. Kipling and you may know, you may not know, but I'm not a massive fan of Mr. Kipling cakes. They're very, very hit and miss and more hit, no, and more miss for me. So let's see. Oh, there's the miss. It's got the artificial sweetener. It has to be. It tastes horrible. Horrible. Like, it's overwhelming the whole taste of the cake. Horrible. Oh, God. Mm -mm. These are Mo Health Field Fiber Rounds Birthday Cake. It's a four pack with 75p, and I got these from B&M. So this is the Mo Farrow contribution. Now, when I showed the box to my sister, she was like, look at the bad Photoshop. It, um, I'll insert it. I, I wouldn't say it's such a bad Photoshop. I think it's the way they cut out his face. It's all jiggedy. And I'm just like, Mo, what's going on? But, you know, um, money's money, isn't it? So let's see what this is like. Again, that artificial sweetness coming through. And it tastes like a little bit of sort of sweet creaminess, but it tastes, oh, the artificial sweetener. Oh, God, just ruins it. Ruins it. Like with the Mr. Kipling, that's all I can taste. All I can taste. And finally, we have Fibre One. These are strawberry and cream flavoured donuts. Four pack for £2.50. I got these from Tesco. And finally, the Fibre One, which I think most of you probably would have heard of because they have different types of um, bars. They have bars, donuts, I think, are one of the new additions to their range. Um, I mean, this is 90 calories. It's tiny. It's tiny. Let's just see what this is like. Okay. I mean, it's obviously it's a baked donut, not a fried one. It does have a bit of a donut -y taste to it, though. But the covering, I can't really taste it. It just tastes of nothing. It tastes of nothing. All I can taste is the donut-y donut, but the, there's not really any flavour. I think it's just strawberry. Yeah. Okay, so the winner overwhelmingly is the skinny bar Rocky Road thing. That was the best tasting thing. The others are, what are they ruined by the overall overwhelming taste of artificial sweetener or had no real taste to it. 
Now my thoughts about low calorie cakes, I get it. If you're on a reducing, ca reduced calorie diet and you think I want a treat, but I don't really want a normal cake because of the amount of fat and sugar in it, that's fine. But I, I think that you could end up eating more because you think, oh, well, it's only this amount of calories. So I'm going to have like five of them. Excuse me. And I just think, just try and incorporate normal foods in your diet. So if you do fancy a piece of cake, have a piece of normal cake, but just have a smaller slice of it. Um, that's, that's, that's what I think. But there's always going to be a market for people who want low-cal this, keto this, this, this. And I get it. But what I would say to manufacturers, make them taste nice. You're going to be offering this low-cal product. Make it taste nice. Don't flood it with artificial sweetener to the point where that's all you can taste. Because it's horrible. And no one can tell me they sit down and enjoy having that. No one. Um, so that's my final view. But let me know in the comments. Have you tried any of these cakes? And also, what are your views on low-cal cakes? Um, and just want to say, Happy New Year. First video of the year. Um, I'm not 100% well. I've been sick for like two weeks. Um, and I've, um, I'm on antibiotics now. <coughs> Though by the time this comes out, I would have finished my antibiotics. But I hope I, would have been, I will be 100% better. So until next time, Kate lovers.